Investing in the stock market for some might seem confusing, complicated, and well, quite scary. Taking your hard earned money and doing the research on when to buy a stock, when to sell it, what investments to choose for retirement, and what investing apps are good and bad, and just staring at stocks go up and down all day is not only super stressful, but can be very overwhelming. Now, I personally experienced this myself until I did hundreds of hours of research and even studied these investments at my university with my professors from Ivy League schools and found these three ETFs to make you very rich. For example, if I stopped investing a single penny into one of the ETFs that I'm going to be talking about in this video, like Vanguard's VU, which is an SP500 index fund with my near $40,000 investment inside of this ETF, if I don't invest another penny, I will have over $2.6 million over time through this long-term buy and hold strategy. I have so many friends that have literally lost thousands of dollars day trading or just trying to be the next Warren Buffett and just buying bad stocks. Prime example is on your screen, so please don't make that mistake. While the three ETFs I invested in have literally gone up hundreds of thousands of percent in returns while I did absolutely nothing besides sit back, relax, and watch my money grow and compound over time through compound interest. These three ETFs are going to be split up into three different categories like foundational US stock ETFs, growth ETFs, and dividend ETFs because you should really identify your goals and even your risk tolerance as an investor. For beginners, an ETF is short for exchange traded fund, which is traded like an individual stock, but an ETF is a group of many individual stocks. So instead of buying one company, you're buying literally hundreds of them to lower your risk, but also give you good returns all in one investment and one bucket. The first category of ETFs are foundational ETFs that can be used as one investment that you can make for the rest of your life because they are diversified in many sectors and stocks, have great returns, and provide passive income from dividends. The first ETF I recommend in this category is going to be VTI by Vanguard, which represents the total stock market like legit every stock in the United States is in this one ETF. I personally hold VTI in my 401k with my employer and plan to hold it for the rest of my life because of its great diversification and even greater returns. VTI holds nearly 4,000 companies and has a very low expense ratio of 0.03%, which means for every $10,000, you only pay the fund $3, which is a great price to pay to allow Vanguard to do all the hard work and lifting for you. And over the past 10 years, VTI has averaged over 12% in returns, which is absolutely fantastic. The second ETF that I love in this category is going to be VU by Vanguard. Now, I personally own this ETF in my Roth IRA and taxable brokerage account with Vanguard, and this tracks the SP500 index. And it's the top 500 companies weighted by market cap in the United States. So the bigger the company, the higher weight it will have in the index. VU also has a very low expense ratio of 0.03%, and over the last 10 years, it has appreciated nearly 13%, all while paying a great dividend for cash flow of around 1.4%. Statistically, it's almost impossible to beat the SP500 or even a total stock market fund over a long enough period of time. Some of you guys might say that, well, Marcos, there's a ton of fund overlap in these funds. And well, you are right of 86%, which means that I might not be diversifying as good as I probably should. And since these ETFs move up and down pretty in sync with each other, so I always recommend to invest in one of these ETFs. But for me, my company only offers VTI as the large cap fund. So I chose it instead of buying like bonds or even a money market fund. So long story short, flip a coin and choose either VTI or VU. Personally, I love VU better, hence the large amount of money I have invested in VU. To provide a quick recap, foundational ETFs are for investors looking for a medium to higher risk tolerance and great for those looking for both growth and dividend income. The next category is going to be growth ETFs. Now this category of ETFs definitely packs the strongest punch and that it can go up a lot and provide insane returns that can even beat the SP500, but it can even drop a lot more than the SP500 and be very volatile. Growth ETFs are more for investors looking for high growth coupled with a higher risk tolerance. The first ETF I love for this category and even invest in is going to be 
QQQ or even QQQM by Invesco, and it tracks the NASDAQ 100 index and holds 100 different companies. Now, other YouTubers are going to tell you to buy QQQ instead of QQQM, but I own QQQM because it has a lower expense ratio of 0.15% instead of 0.2%, so you're literally going to be saving 25% on fees, and it also has a cheaper share price, so I just provided a quick tip on how to save a ton of money in the long run and cut your fees down. Down because they're essentially the same ETF, so that's why I invest in QQQM instead of QQQ. QQQM has insane growth potential in that it holds tech stocks, AI companies, and just about the sexiest growth stocks on Wall Street. It also has an average 10-year return annually of nearly 20%, which absolutely obliterates and crushes that SP 500's return over the past 10 years. The next growth ETF that I love and own is SEHG by Charles Schwab or their large cap growth ETF. Now this fund has 250 companies, so it's more diversified than the QQQ, and it's heavily weighted into the technology sector. It has a very low expense ratio of 0.04%, all while giving you great returns of nearly 16% annually over the past 10 years. Why I own both is because the QQQs only invest in stocks in the NASDAQ index, while SCHG invests in growth stocks regardless of the stock exchange, like the NASDAQ and even the New York Stock Exchange or NYSE. So I personally want to own great companies that are in the New York Stock Exchange, like Visa and MasterCard for example, which is listed on the NYSE and not on the NASDAQ index, so it's only going to be in SCHG and not in the QQQs. You can honestly own either QQQM or even SCHG and choose one, but I'm really weird and want to own both for this reason. A downside to growth ETFs is that they have a low dividend yield, but that's okay because the goal for this category is growth and capital appreciation. The last category of ETFs is going to be dividend ETFs for investors looking for passive income, lower risk investments to bring in cash flow and pretty solid returns. The first ETF for this category category is going to be SCHD or Charles Schwab's US Dividend Equity ETF. This is arguably one of the greatest dividend ETFs of all time and has a dividend yield of around 3.5% and also has a 10-year average return of almost 12% per year all while holding around 100 different companies from many different sectors so you are diversifying your risk and even your money. It also has a very low expense ratio of 0.06% and SCHD is the ETF I plan to live off of dividends forever and never sell this fund because of the cash flow it will bring in retirement. The second ETF that I own to complement SCHD is going to be DGRO or iShares Dividend Growth ETF. I made a video on why I believe combining both SCHD and DGRO is the best way to diversify your risk and even your money for dividend investors, so go ahead and check that out on my channel. DGRO has over 400 companies, a low expense ratio, has solid growth of nearly 12% on average per year since its inception, and it pays out dividends of around 2.4% to dividend investors. Lastly, I always recommend to open up a Roth IRA, which is a retirement fund, so you can protect your dividend income and even gains on your investments, so you can put your dividend ETFs into your Roth IRA for these tax purposes or even any other ETF of your choice. And in the age of retirement of age 59 and a half, you're expected to retire. So all that money, even the gains and even the dividend income is gonna be literally tax free. Please, please, please take advantage of a Roth IRA for these benefits to you. Now, I personally invest around $500 to $1,000 per week into these ETFs. Now, if you want to see exactly when I buy my ETFs, like the share price, how much I bought them for, and even my thesis on why I bought them on that particular day, you can join my Gold VIP membership group in the link in the description below. Or if you want to show the world what ETFs you love and own, you can join either my Silver or Gold VIP membership group, and I will personally give you a shout out in my next video. Now, as long as you stay the course and 
and have a long-term investing mindset, I can almost guarantee that you will win with money and have a ton of money to retire off of as long as you don't options trade, day trade, or even gamble. Now that about wraps it up with this video guys on three ETFs to get you very rich through my simple investing guide. Now if you guys like this video, please give it a like because this cute puppy did and comment down below an ETF that you are investing in for the long run. Now if you guys want to create your own three ETF portfolio or ETF portfolio in general, you can click on this video on your screen to go check that out. I love you guys so much. Continue to crush in the stock market and take it easy. Peace.